Hello everyone, welcome to this example video on maximum power transfer. So this question reads, determine Rxy for maximum power transfer to Rxy and then determine the actual maximum power transfer. So we know from the theory of this section that for maximum power transfer to Rxy, Rxy must equal to Rth. And we know that the actual value of the maximum transfer must give you VTH squared over 4RTH. So we need to get the thermal equivalent voltage as well as the thermal equivalent resistance. So the first part of this problem then will be for us to determine RTH. We determine RTH by deactivating all independent sources. So my voltage source will be replaced with a short circuit while my current source is replaced with an open circuit. And I'm looking for the resistance with respect to the load terminal. Right, so once I've redrawn the circuit I can then start to determine the type of connection that we have. So we should be able to see here that the 6 and the 5 are connected in parallel. They share two common nodes. The result of that is in series with the 5 and then in parallel with the 10. Such that RTH is going to give you 6 in parallel with 5 plus 5 and that will be in parallel with 10. So we can uh, calculate that. So 6 in parallel with 5 should give you a value of 2.72 plus 5 in parallel with 10. So that will be 7.72 in parallel with 10. And we can calculate that quickly. So that will be 7. 0.72 in parallel with 10 and that gives us a value of 4.35 so RTH is equals to 4,35 ohms and that will be the RXY that's required. Right, and then the second part of this problem, we need to determine the maximum power transfer. So for us to obtain the maximum power transfer, we need to get the actual VTH and the RTH which we've already determined. So for us to get maximum power transfer, that's the problem that has been given. Right. And we need to calculate the value of VTH. And VTH will be the voltage from that point to that point. We know that VTH is VAB, which is VA minus VB. We know that VB, if this is my ground point, is equals to zero. So VTH must equal to VA. So we need to determine the voltage at this point. All right. So how can we do this? We can, we can determine the voltage there using nodal analysis but we'll notice that we've got two key nodes in this problem so 
this will be the other point we'll call this v right so if we do our kcl expression we're going to say the current in that node the currents move according to the descriptions there so if i say here kcl node v then i'm going to say 15 minus v over 5 equals v minus 0 over 6 plus 2 plus v minus va over 5. And that's the first expression. Let's simplify this expression. So common factor of 30, we will say 15 times 6, 5 to go to 30 is 6, so 15 times 6 gives us 90. So 90 minus 6v is equal to 5v plus 1 to 30 is, uh, is 30 times 2 is 60, so plus 60 plus 6v minus 6va. Right. So if we further then simplify this, we're going to have uh, 90 and 60 will mean that we are having 30 is equals to 6v and 5v. 6 and 5 will be 11 plus 6, which will be 17 minus 6va. Right, so 90 minus 60 will give you 30. 6 plus 5 will give you 11. Plus 6 will give you 17. Right, and that's our first equation. If we look at our second equation, which will be KVL node VA, we will then say the current here goes in, that goes in, and that goes out. So we're going to say 2 plus V minus V A over 5 is equal to V A minus 0 over 10. Common factor, we can say that is 10. 1 to 10 is 10 times, so that would be 20 plus this 5 to 10 is 2, so that will be 2 times v, so that's 2v minus 2va is equals 10 to 10 is 1, that's equal to va. So if we simplify that, we're going to have 20 is equals to um, minus 2v plus va. That's our second equation. 20, that'll be 2v minus 2va is equal to va. So 20 is equal to minus 2va plus va. And this should be, in actual fact, minus 2va going to the other side will give you 2va plus va. This should be 3va. Right, so now we can plug this into our calculator. Here we will just put it on equation mode. And we will say, 17v minus 6va equals 30 and minus 2va plus 3 minus 2v plus 3va equals 20. And we 
go to answer for v. Um, v is equals to 5,38 and VA is equals to 10,25 and our interest was VA because we know that VTH is equals to VA which is 10,25 volts. Now we can determine the maximum power transfer. P max is equals to VTH squared over 4RTH, which is going to give us 10,25 squared over 4 times the resistance we calculated of 4,35 ohms. Right, so that will be ten comma two five squared over four times four comma three five, and that gives us a value of six comma zero three eight. Six comma zero three eight watts. And that's the value of the maximum power transfer to the load resistor RXY. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy the course.